didn't have an intro now i got one it's your boy tj london and i'm back again with another video for the afro sheen bang and there is no intro as usual what is up guys in this video well from the title you can see this is a very controversial topic but usually things like this i discuss on live streams However, today I've decided to do something different and sit down and record it and edit it just like I used to do over the last few years I've been on YouTube. Um, a lot of you may not be Christian or may not understand what I'm talking about, but whether you're Christian or not and you're watching this video, it may pertain to you and especially with the way that you live your life, so it may be worth watching. But let me just fix the camera because I feel like it's not. I, I say camera like I'm using the camera, I'm just using my phone here. Is it okay to be prioritizing your hair as a Christian? Now, a lot of people may hear that and be like, what is this that I'm talking about? What does that even mean? And how are we even supposed to take care of our hair if we don't prioritize it? Now, there's a difference between prioritizing your hair and there's a difference between idolizing your hair. So I'd probably say idolizing is the better word to use. Excuse me. For those of you that are deep in your words or for those of you that are heavy in your word, and just to clarify, like I'm obviously a Christian here. Yeah? I'd classify myself as a man of God. I go to church a lot and I pray often. I'm very close to God. I have a good relationship with God. So yeah, just to get that out of the way. But yeah, I just want to say that for those of you that may be deep in your word and know a lot about the word of God, know a lot about the Bible, you would know that it's not good to have idols and it's not good to put anything else before God and before your relationship with God. And Obviously, a lot of people may see that as, okay, cool. I need to make sure that I don't watch too much TV so I can spend time reading my Bible, spend time praying to God, spend time fasting. I need to make sure that I don't spend too much time on my phone, this, that, and the third. Like, you'll hear that a lot. And that's the most classic thing you will hear. But I just don't feel like this has been spoken about enough. And I know some people have said a few things about it before, but it's not really a big thing. And obviously I don't know how much attention will get on here from me just posting. Obviously I'm a small channel, so I don't know how, who's gonna watch it. But as long as one person gets the message, I'm fine with that. But what I'm trying to say is, to those of you that do your hair on this channel, and to those of you that have had long hair, have been growing your hair for a long time and watched me for a long time, I just want to get the message because like, I feel like with me personally, I was in a place where back in September 2022 when I cut my hair off, you'll hear a lot of people say, I felt God telling me to cut my hair off, Holy Spirit told me to cut my hair off and yeah, because that's because some people prioritise too much time and they idolise their hair a lot more than they read the word of God and things like that and the minute God sees that you idolize or put something before him, he's going to make that known to you. And to you, you may feel like, I won't hear him say that though, but there's so much different ways God can get through to you. And whether that be through a thought, whether that be through somebody else, something that you read on your phone, he is going to get through to you. And we have to be careful because, especially me, I feel like I was just in a place where I was just there contemplating it. And obviously I grew my hair again, but for me, it's more of a thing where let me make sure that I do not prioritize my hair more and I spend time with God this year. And I feel like that is what I've really been trying to do this year because I feel like, especially in 2022, I feel like 2022 was the year or 2021. Those were the years where I was just really going hard with videos. Like I was just slapping hair videos left, right and center. But now, obviously, you guys can see I've taken a reserved step. Like, I've taken a long break for a few times and just put myself backwards because I just don't want... I just don't want to be a repeat. I don't want it to be a repeat of last year and the year before that. You know, and for you guys watching, and for those of you that are Christian, like, we can obviously read the room. We see what the world is like. We have to get ourselves right. And if we are prioritizing things like our hair instead of reading the word of God, it will really mess us up. And heavy emphasis on the word, really, because sometimes we get so caught up in things that we do 
and we don't even realize what's happening around us and i'm not saying that in a way where oh we're gonna get drunk over right here that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that because especially of us as black people especially we focus so much on our hair and sometimes i look in the comments of people on tiktok that post things with hair or hairdressers or hairstyles i look in the comments people are always finding faults with something how much gel somebody's putting in somebody's hair how much grease there is how much their scalp needs treatment how much damage there's always fault with something and i just feel like with the black hair community to the christians out there that involve themselves in the black hair community we have really got to be careful because the minute we lose ourselves in something like this it's 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 not good and i i hear this phrase a lot like hair guru or hair goddess i'm not really with all of that if i'm being honest with you i'm not with all of that um you know it's it's a weird word to use in my opinion you know like especially if you're calling yourself a christian and people use the word g-o i say yeah g-o-a-t you obviously know what that spells i don't mess with that word no more like don't say that word around me you know i genuinely feel like as a community of christians we focus too much on our outward appearance more than our inward appearance and it's a big problem and i don't care who wants to say what it's obviously the truth because we cannot sit here and pretend like it's not going on here like this is what's happening and especially when it comes to our hair we focus too much on what our hair looks like nowadays rather than what our relationship with christ is like am i wrong no one could tell me it's not the truth but the message i just want to get out there today is that whoever is watching this i just want you to make sure like if you feel like you are prioritizing your hair a lot more than you feel like you are spending time with god it's not a bad thing like i'm not here to judge anybody it's never my job to judge anybody and that's not what i intend to do but at the end of the day i'm just here to spread awareness because i have a platform to do so so I'm going to spread awareness and I may even post a few bits on TikTok as well. But I genuinely feel like this is a thing that a lot of people need to think about because we hear so much about this, so much about that as Christians, but who's really talking about hair and who's really talking about us prioritizing our outward appearance too much? You don't really hear much of it nowadays and i just think something needs to be done regardless of who is watching this as i said just as long as one person gets the message like if you genuinely feel like you are in a position where you are focused on your hair so much to a point where you will feel insecure and i'm talking to myself here because i genuinely feel insecure sometimes and i don't know how to sort my hair up but sometimes i just get up and i'm like i don't care and i feel like if you get to a point where you're like I don't care what I'm looking like, I'm just going to do what I've got to do. I genuinely feel like you're at a place where you're not really focused on your outward appearance because obviously you don't care about what you look like, you're just going out to do what you're going to do, you know? So once you get to that place, that's kind of where you want to be and I'm not saying it in the way where, oh yeah, let me just look rough this day, you know, that's not what I'm saying. Here. Like, if you genuinely cannot leave your house or genuinely cannot do things for God, well, let's put it like this. If you can't even post a video on TikTok because you're so concerned about what your hair is looking like or what your outward appearance is looking like, then there's an issue, you know? And I know some people generally struggle with insecurity, but the Bible comes and tells us that we should be anxious for nothing, you know? And there's a reason why that is in the Bible, because why should we be anxious if we know that God is protecting us each and every day? If we know we're covered under his blood, why are we fearful of what other people are going to say? If we know that he is going to guide us to make correct decisions, why are we so concerned on other people commenting on our appearance? Like, we have to remember the God that we serve at the end of the day. And to those of you that aren't saved or not Christian, like, at the end of the day, it's, this is still good advice for you. Because the minute you prioritise your looks and your outward appearance more than you do anything else it's really going to make you feel insecure and that's just the truth and i'm speaking about myself really like i've learned to live with that so much times i've grown up like i don't like i force myself to think whenever i have short hair 
whenever excuse me whenever i have short hair i force myself to think like yeah i do not look good because in the past every time i used to post myself on snapchat people would be like oh you look better with short uh, you look better with long hair i don't like your short hair your hair was so nice when I, and that just generally forced me to think and to, to you guys it may be like that's not that deep like still little things like that can make somebody insecure really make somebody think about their appearance and look at all the crazy stuff i've done i've straightened my hair i've put edges on my hair like i've done so much with my hair on this channel i've done bantu knots look scroll down when you have the chance to but that's because i genuinely got to a point where i just didn't care about what people thought if i sat down thinking about what people were gonna see me as like I wouldn't really be where I am today. I wouldn't have 4,000 subscribers today, you know? So much people sat there and told me, like, I wouldn't even get 100. And I'm here with 4,000, and that's because I didn't care. You, I genuinely feel like you have to get to a point where you love what you have at the moment in order to grow. And if you cannot love the fact that your hair's in a certain way, and I'm not saying this in a way where people do not like their hair or whatever, but if you cannot get to a point where you can't settle, then... Maybe it's time to cut it off. Maybe it's time to take a different approach, you know? But yeah, instead of me rambling on, just want to say this is the end of the video. Hope you guys were able to get something from that. I hope you were blessed hearing that. And I hope you think about even, like think about what I've said. It may help you, may not help you, but I'm just here to spread awareness at the end of the day. And if you want more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe, like, and let me know in the comments and yeah guys tell me what you guys think in the comments do you agree do you not agree let's have a discussion you know that's why the comments are there but anyway we'll catch you guys in the next video stay safe god bless you all and i love you man please subscribe please please